got my hands folded like I'm finna say something important. The Americans, season one, episode eight. I don't, I don't know why I just did that, but what happens happens. Now it's in the past. Um. So the main story of this episode. <clears throat> This individual contracted by the KGB uh, in order to kill uh, more individuals who are tasked with creating a missile defense system in America. Uh, what's more interesting is they they want them changing their mind, but they don't have a way to uh, they don't have a way to contact them in order to tell them that. So they're like, so they can't just they can't just call them. Hey, about that. So we don't want you to kill them anymore. They can't do that. So now we have our characters coming to play, and I'm thinking this is interesting. What are, what are they gonna do? Because the uh, in in past episodes they've been pretty hands on. I mean, the level of uh, the the level of skill or or well, how should I phrase this? The amount of training shows. Their amount of training shows because they're moving in and out of rooms. They're handling firearms very well. They know how to handle themselves hand to hand. All that good stuff. Oh. Oh. Mm, excuse me. They know how to operate many different weapon systems, explosives. They know how to drive. I mean, these guys are. They're one person wrecking crews, and together they're basically unstoppable. I mean, they're a really good, a really good force. Um. Not the two Russia's horn there, but I mean they're they're really good about this. Uh, but something else is uh, something else is hindering them from doing their job. Uh, why am I trying to be secretive about it? They're they're fighting their feelings for each other because even though they're in a fake marriage, they uh, the two main characters, even though they're in a fake marriage, they've been together so long, feelings are starting to develop, and then they're being extinguished, and then they're uh, starting back up again, they're they're fighting with that basic human emotion. They can't turn that off, uh, but they're still tasked with this job. And like I've said in previous uh, videos, the uh, the female is obviously much stronger than the male. I mean, she's she's able to turn off and do her job effectively. He's he can do his job effectively, but he's uh, often. I feel like I'm giving an evaluation or some some shit like that. No, he's just sidetracked. I think a lot, and he's he's, he's letting his emotions get the best of him. Which, hey, it says so much about it says so much about what um, it says so much about what the sexes uh, actually are and what people what perceptions are. The perception that the man would be the the strong one that could be cold and calculated and turn off, but he's more emotion than than anything I think I've ever seen and she's the one that could actually she's the um, she's the talented operator in this scenario but anyway let me try to get back to the story so they wind up uh, pulling in some of their resources from I guess uh, people that they're working as far as them being spies and they're able to get an effective uh, picture of this guy and also uh getting the location of him by doing that as well and they're able to eliminate him and this scene was done so so beautifully i mean i, I don't my vocabulary is not uh that big so i'm going to use the word like beautiful to describe a, a scene where a guy gets blown to bits with plastic explosive i'm thinking it's plastic explosive some some type of explosive um but yeah they're, they're sitting there he's sitting there watching tv uh she comes in through the window, and, and the male comes in through the door. They both have, I think they were Berettas with uh, silencers on it. He pulls out a gun with a silencer himself, but he has a charge, uh, and he's uh, talking about uh, the charge being directed. I know that's an actual thing because there's there's many different type of explosives and uh, different uses, and some of them, um, I'm not a, of course I'm not an expert on explosives, but it's like a, Whatever he said is is directional, which I, I I believe that, but uh she takes a pretty decent shot at his hand right through his arm, so he can't operate the device the detonator. He goes in the bathroom trying to seek refuge, 
uh, our male main character rips that bomb off the wall, throws it to her. She tosses it in the bathroom. In the commotion, he's not under. He's in under in, in commotion. He's not aware of that. Press the detonator, and he gets cut in half. Well, actually, he gets he gets like blown to bits, basically. Which is that that scene in the bathroom was something else. I mean, it was just blood and pieces of me everywhere in there, which was like mm, not bad, not bad. But they succeed in their mission. Um, God, I, I always feel like I don't want to leave something. I feel like I'm going to leave something out when I'm when I'm doing a, a reaction towards uh, the Americans. It's it's just so layered, and I, I think I might, hmm, I think I might have to switch. Do the Americans first, and then the other videos. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. I shouldn't be. But anyway, um, so what else happened? Here? Oh, this is something I want to bring up. So, um, their neighbor, the FBI agent, who's the neighbor, he. I won't talk about him just yet, but he he's basically getting fully involved with that with that Russian girl. I mean, he's fully immersed on her. I'm damn damn near, I say he's falling in love with her. But anyway, uh, his son. Wow. So the the spies, their daughter, is basically she likes him, and she's she's trying to navigate her way around possibly being an item with him but he's like i said he's being a normal uh teenage boy i feel like and he's squandering i feel like because i've been there too he's squandering uh uh what could turn out to be a joyous experience i mean i'm not gonna get into that but fuck he's squandering that by being a dickhead um but of course she doesn't know any better. She's not getting any guidance from her, her mother or her father in this situation. And, and kids will be kids. They're gonna, they're gonna do what they, they're gonna do what they want to do. Uh, you know, the best, the best teacher, the best teacher is experience. So you're gonna have to experience it to understand what happened and why it happened. I guess. Well, not I guess. I know. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, um, I thought I'd bring that up. Um, what else happens in this episode? Oh, God, so much more. So, yeah, I guess I could talk about the FBI agent. So he's completely, completely, completely lost and immersed in this relationship with uh, with, the, with the young Russian woman. I mean, basically falling head over heels. He's, he's trying his hardest to learn her language fully. And I feel like she's having a lot of fun with the situation. I don't know. I can't see her angle. The characters ain't go right now, but it seems like she's having a lot of fun with it. Uh, he's, he, man, he's so, he's, he's so cold in the way he acts and uh, how he uh, behaves. It's unreal, but I still feel like he has some type of strong emotional connection to this girl. Um, yeah. Oh, but I guess it, it would hurt to bring up the fact, uh, so in that office where the FBI agent works, there's a, a woman who's basically uh, an asset towards uh, the male of the two spies. You know, they're banging and he's uh, getting information from her. But she's had a previous relationship with, uh, I guess, the neighbor who's an FBI agent, uh, his new partner, if I'm not mistaken. So they were an item at once. I have no vocabulary. So they were banging at one point. And um, but she's like, nah, I can't message you anymore. But he's still like, nah, I really want you back. So, but he's he's on to something with her because she's doing stuff she shouldn't be doing. She's getting paperwork and whatever and whatnot. And he's on to that. But uh, he has to tread lightly because of their past history. Because she's already hinted like, hey, I don't like your, whatever you're doing, I don't want it. And I'm willing to say that these are sexual advances and things of that nature. I'm going to get you canned. That That's why I'm like, he has to tread lightly. Or he can get himself in trouble in this situation. Which, hey, I'm all ready to see what happens there. Along with everything else in this dang series so far. It's, it's, it's a really good show. And I'm, I'm kicking myself that I haven't. I didn't start watching it earlier. Anyway, so 
you got that going on. Talked about that. Oh, the the biggest thing, the biggest thing to come out of this thing episode. It's so the two main characters are doing such a great job at they're doing such a fantastic job at completing the task that they've been given and you know being loyal to their to their to their um to their to their home country, right? But I f- it's it's such an amazing thing to see them try and tackle like stuff that normal everyday people are struggling with as well, which is how to make how to have a successful relationship, whether it be work related or husband and wife or like like uh, intimate, I guess. And it's just so so interesting trying to wrap my head around the fact that they have all this stuff going on and they're able to balance everything pretty much equal. Almost, almost equally throughout the, the series. I mean, like I said in so many episodes, so many uploads before, it's like one minute they're they're, they're um, one minute they're uh, mapping out sniper shots or something like that, and then, then the next minute they're having dinner at home, a sit down dinner at that. So I mean, that's just to just to scratch the surface to give anybody an idea of how complex it is because the to me, it's complex because I won't get into it. It's a little bit personal, <laughs> but it's like having a successful family life and a successful career because they have normal everyday day jobs, too. And and then there's spies on top of all that. So it's just interesting watching them do all that and then to throw everything in there and just mix it all up and see how it comes out on the end. I mean, with every episode I watch, I want to watch the next one and then the next one and then the next one. But, you know, I'm showing a little restraint now uh watching two a week actually i'm not showing restraint i can't watch more than two a week but anyway uh, if you like me ratting and raving about uh tv shows and movies go check out some of my other videos i've got some movies up i've got the complete series of breaking bad i've watched most of uh the mandalorian well all the mandalorian that's available which i don't like uh i've got uh the miniseries chernobyl i've got uh Futurama. I've got I've got a lot of stuff on there. Go check those videos out and subscribe.